sine of the natural log of x is a composite function. So to take its derivative, we need to use the chain rule, which I've written here for your reference. The derivative of f of g is f prime of g times g prime. In this case, our f, the outside function, is the sine function, and our g, the inside function, is the natural log function. So with that said, let's go ahead and apply the chain rule. We begin with f prime of g, so take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function unchanged. f, the outside function, is sine, and its derivative is cosine. And then remember to not change the inside function, so just leave the ln x there. But then we have to multiply by g prime, the derivative of that inside function. The inside function is ln x, and the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So that's the derivative, which if you prefer, you could bring together as cosine of ln x over x. And that's how to take the derivative of sine of ln x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.